sketch the graph of y is equal to negative x squared plus 6x six minus 4. So whenever you have a negative in front of x, you should understand the graph is going to be upside down. The graph is going to look uh, umbrella shaped. Okay, so this is uh, the shape of the graph. This should be the shape of the graph. Okay, we'll confirm this on a calculator. So let's first find the vertex. So the vertex, for vertex, we'll first find the x coordinate. So I'll write xv of the vertex is given by this formula, which is minus b over 2a. Okay, minus b over 2a. If you have watched my previous video, I told you what is uh, a, what is b, and what is c. So first, it's a good habit to write what is a. a is the coefficient of x squared. So a is negative 1. Your b is the coefficient of x. So this is your b, which is 6. And c is the coefficient, oh, sorry, c is the constant, which is negative 4. So we are dealing with only b and c. So negative b would be negative 6 over 2 times negative 1, which is negative 6 divided by negative 2, which is 3. So the line of symmetry is passing through 3. So you can draw the line of symmetry first. Okay, so this is your line x is equal to 3. Now we need to find the y-intercept, sorry, the y coordinate, so yv would be by putting this back in this equation. So this is negative times 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 4. So let's do without a calculator. So this is negative 9 plus 18 plus 18 minus 4 which is how much? What is negative? So this is 9 minus 4, which is 5. So your vertex is 3 comma 5. So let's plot the point 3 comma 5. So 3 comma 5 is the vertex. Now from vertex, it's an upside down parabola. You're going to go one across and one down. Okay, so one across, one down. Uh, let me, so because it's a minus, that means you're going one down. So if you go one across from the vertex, you have to go one down. If you go two across, you have to go four down. One, two, three, four. Okay. So same way, if you reflect this on the line of symmetry, you can get this point. And imagine this is the mirror line. And if you reflect, you're going two across, you have to go two across to the side. Now from here, if you go 3 across, you have to go 9 down. So this is 5 down, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 1 point. So this is 3 across to this. So you go 3 across, 1, 2, 3. And it does make sense. Can you see the y-intercept should be negative 4? And so this is also a way of confirming your answer. So this is one branch. It goes down like this. Let me draw it better. So join the points by freehand curve. So this will go till infinity. And here, this will also go to the left till infinity. Don't stop at this point. So let's confirm these points. When this is this is 3 comma 5. 3 comma 5, uh, let's confirm this point, which is 5 comma 1, and let's confirm, say, this point, which is 1 comma 1. So let's confirm this on the calculator, and let's type, so go to graph, go to graph and type in the equation minus x squared plus 6x minus 4 and then graph it okay so first this is called the maximum g sol maximum 3 comma 5 and then you can find the y calc when x is 5 when x is 5 y is 1 and when x is 1 y should be 
1. So again, y calc when x is 1, y is also 1. Okay, so this is a neat way of graphing parabolas. Uh, first finding the vertex and then you go, if the coefficient of x is 1, you can go in this order. You go 1 across, 1 down from the vertex. And if you go 2 across, you have to go 4 down. And if you go 3, if it's negative, of course, but if it's positive, it will go, you'll be going up. Okay, so now for, for your practice, I would like you to do, say, graph, say, this is say, a practice, say, y is equal to minus x squared minus 8x plus 2. And the second one is, say, y is equal to minus x squared minus 10x uh, minus 3. Okay, try to graph these two using the same principle. First find the vertex and this will be an upside down parabola. Once you find the vertex you can find three or four points on both sides and then graph it.